you are about to listen to Kaku chapter 83. The Rider of the White Horse. Preached on Sunday, 4th, then, on Wednesday, January 7th, 2009, in, Yapagon Kuwait, Abidjan, Ivory Coast. Extracted from the book of Prophet Kaku Philippe, the only true prophet sent by the Lord Jesus Christ, for the salvation of our generation. Kaku chapter 83, the rider of the white horse, may God bless you. It is a privilege again for us to be here to listen to his word. The congregation says, Amen. I would like to read here the testimony of the angels singing, that had taken place in Kataji. It is in the newspaper of the 50th anniversary of the Assemblies of Gods in Ivory Coast. They reported in details the angels singing that had taken place in Kataji. I am going to read that. It was about 10 p.m. when hymns of which we don't know the provenance were heard. The faithful who were with the missionaries ran then towards the village, and those who were in the village ran in the opposite direction, each group seeking where the hymns came from. Voices went from one place to another and they were heard coming from above. Small flames like those of a candle, were visible in the airs. Finally, the population, all religious denominations included, went to the place of the village looking at these flames, and listening to those melodies. The language was not understandable, but the melody was sweet. After a rather remarkable period of time, the voices and the flames disappeared. After this event, the spiritual action proved to be increasing. There were a large number of converts. The populations of all the area went towards Kataji, bringing their fetishes to be burned, and devoting their lives to the Lord. How many faithful in the assemblies of God know that angels ever sang in this village? How many can locate this village? By bringing out this historical and first-rank event, which recalls the evolution of the Church of the Assemblies of God of Ivory Coast, we are more than convinced that this event would be unknown to many. It goes unnoticed to the great majority. Yet, in another world, Kataji would be a holy land, where people would gather to worship and celebrate anniversaries. That is not our objective. We are rather astonished by the total indifference and ignorance of this historical event, which in some other place would have made Kataji a land for pilgrimage. Extracted from the newspaper, the 50th anniversary, issued in July 2008. You can see through this newspaper how much the Assemblies of Gods appropriate the thing. It is the same thing when Branhamists, including the Catholic Mission of the World Frank talk about it. You see? Whether it was in 1956, or 1961, or 1972, the most important thing is that, if these angels sang in Kataji, it is because of the birth and the ministry of Prophet Kaku Philippe, who is to manifest Christ. It was never said that angels ever sang somewhere on earth for a church. The congregation says, Amen. Very well, now, I am going to read Revelation chapter 19 starting from the verse 6. That's what I want to talk about. Brother Philip reads, Revelation 19, verse 6 to 10. And I heard as a voice of a great crowd, and as a voice of many waters, and as a voice of strong thunders, saying, Hallelujah, for the Lord our God, the Almighty God has taken to himself kingly power. Let us rejoice and exult, and give him glory. For the marriage of the Lamb is come, and his wife has made herself ready. And it was given to her that she should be clothed in fine linen, bright and pure, for the fine linen is the righteousnesses of the saints. And he says to me, Right, blessed are they who are called to the supper of the marriage of the Lamb. And he says to me, These are the true words of God. And I fell before his feet to do him homage. And he says to me, See thou do it not. I am thy fellow bondman, and the fellow bondmen of thy brethren who have the testimony of Jesus. Do homage to God, for the spirit of prophecy is the testimony of Jesus. Amen. I took this text for a basis to show something. You see? 
two types of persons, because Matthew 25 6 talks about two types of virgins, there are wise virgins and foolish virgins. Just as we come into the world, and at a certain time we start to realize that we are a boy or girl, in the same way, we can know whether we are a wise virgin or a foolish virgin. That is it. When the message of Matthew 25 6 is given, two types of virgins will be manifested. If you are a wise virgin, you will indeed be aware that you are a wise virgin, and if you are a foolish virgin, you will indeed be aware that you are a foolish virgin. The congregation says, Amen. I would like you to notice something. John is the type of the bride who will be caught up. John is first the type of the wise virgins. And you can see here that, when John saw all these true words, he fell to his knees before the angel to worship him. And the angel said to him, I am not Jesus but I manifest Jesus. Do homage to God. It is the written word of God. And on his thigh, something is written that you can neither see, nor understand, unless you are in number of the bride. And look at John, in the Bible and the history of salvation. People had the attitude of John, but always before miracles and wonders. Look at these men in Acts 14 verse 8 to 15. I am going to read that. And a certain man in Lystra, impotent in his feet, sat, being lame from his mother's womb, who had never walked. This man heard Paul speaking, who, fixing his eyes on him, and seeing that he had faith to be healed, said with a loud voice, Rise up straight upon thy feet, and he sprang up and walked. But the crowds, who saw what Paul had done, lifted up their voices in Lycaonian, saying, The gods having made themselves like men, are come down to us. You see? But here in Revelation 19 verse 8 and for the first time, somebody falls to his face because of the word of God. For the sons of God themselves proceed from the word. The congregation says, Amen. John was an apostle of Jesus, the fullness of the word, and of the deity, and he did know him. When he was given to look at that written word, he reckoned right at the moment that, if these words proceed from the angel, then this angel is Jesus Christ himself under another form. And John said, And I fell before his feet to do him homage. And he says to me, See thou do it not. I am thy fellow bondman, and the fellow bondman of thy brethren who have the testimony of Jesus. Do homage to God. For the spirit of prophecy is the testimony of Jesus. The angel told John, No John. Do homage to God, because the spirit of prophecy is the testimony of Jesus, that is to say that any spirit of prophet is the manifestation of Jesus. Moses, Isaiah, Jeremiah, are partial manifestations of the Supreme God, Paul, Irenaeus, Columban, Martin Luther, John Wesley, Ulrich Zwingli, John Cavine, William Branham, are partial manifestations of the Supreme God. Do homage to Jesus Christ alone. For of our kind, he is the sole fullness of the Almighty God's manifestation. Prophet messengers are the manifestation of God on earth, and among them. The Lord Jesus Christ is the fullness of God himself. The congregation says, Amen. In the same way, the angels are the manifestation of God on earth, but among them, the angel of the covenant is God himself. It is the same person, as the messenger of Matthew 25 6 and Kaku Philip are the same person. The congregation says, Amen. Now I come back to my subject. Notice that there are three types of people sitting here. The wise virgins, the foolish virgins, and the mixed multitude. The mixed multitude are of the devil. Now, what happens? When gusts of wind come up, the mixed multitude's jerkings are visible, but for the foolish virgins, everything takes place within their heart. You see? In the first moments of the message, I could start hearing, God of our beloved brother Philippe, God of brother Philippe, God of brother Philippe. It is not that that sounded sweet to my ears, but I did not have in mind to forbid that. The wise virgins rejoiced, the foolish were a little indignant, but as time went on, they started to get used, to get used and by getting used to that. They did not find it bad. The congregation says, Amen. 
And after that, there were several stages, among which that of names, the great master, the great eagle, until recently, one Sunday. Pastor Akube preaches the famous preaching entitled, Greater than William Branham and Jesus Christ is here now. While some were rejoicing at hearing that, others were calm. And I heard that a sister had left because of that. And from that moment, I started to receive SMS like, You, my Savior, you, the fullness of the Word, you, my Creator. Saying that I am your Creator, or I am the Almighty God, I do not believe it's right. But I am your brother saved by grace on the cross of Calvary. The congregation says, Amen. My creators, the angel of April 24, 1993 is him, he is your creator as well as mine. It is he that comes near some time to inspire me this message. And when I hear pagans say that, my followers would have told them that, I am the Almighty God himself in a human form like Jesus Christ, I do not know what to say. Don't do that. And in some assemblies, they sing hymns like, Whoever you are, you must praise Brother Philippe. And this morning the angel tell you don't do it. See thou do it not. Do homage to God. For the spirit of prophecy is the testimony of Jesus. And recently, when we were on the way from my native land, the policeman wondered whether it were not the presidential procession that was passing. But it was me, the son of an illiterate farmer. And I could even see some villagers singing with the sisters. Whatever my importance on earth without Brother Philippe, everything is vanity. Rather than being happy, I felt sad. It was difficult for me to hear that. And I said in my heart, What's then this deviation while I do not perform great miracles as William Branham did? I do not understand. And almost all the preachers preached to strengthen the brothers and sisters in that. What should I do? Stop preaching like William Branham? I do not know. And the height of it is that, when I asked the pastors, preachers and elders to find me a servant, they came back and on a common ascent to suggest me a sister who would be my servant and my bride and for them. That neither affects the infallibility, nor what the Bible says I am. When I said, what will the faithful say? They said, let him that is scandalized go away. Because none of all of us who were in the vision of April 24, 1993 will go away. The congregation says, Amen. It is true that I saw a deviation, but I was delighted at seeing the unanimous spirit in which these brothers have always acted. When they are to do something good, they do it together. When they are to do something bad, they do it together. That is contrary to the spirit of division. Thus, they did it. But as I am used to waiting for God before speaking, I did not say anything, bearing that until, four years later, precisely last week, my spirit mysteriously opens on Revelation 19 verse 10 to understand that the things were to be that way, in order to manifest the two types of virgins. It is the manifestation of what they are, it's the Bible that says that they shall do that. You see? The thing was not good, for I, Kaku Philippe, slave of Jesus Christ, I am your brother, and nowhere in the preachings, it is said that I am Jesus Christ, but I am rather the testimony of Jesus Christ, I am manifesting Jesus Christ like all the prophets that God sent before me. John could not do homage to Moses, Isaiah or Jeremiah. And you similarly, you cannot do homage to prophet Kaku Philippe. The congregation says, Amen. Now, let us come back to something. It was said to John, Blessed are they who are called to the supper of the marriage of the Lamb. And that is the marriage parable of Matthew 25. And after that it is said, These are the true words of God. And when he got acquainted with that, he shouted, No man ever spoke like prophet Kaku Philippe. And he fell to his knees with zeal to do homage to the angel, with all his heart. But the foolish virgins had the correct understanding of the thing. They knew that the brother Philippe was not what the wise said he was. But they need nevertheless so as not to get noticed. They felt they were victims of the wise virgin's emotion. In their heart, they did not want to do that, but, alas! 
they were with some emotional fanatics. When the wise virgin said, Do you believe that brother Philippe is Jesus Christ himself and it is by humility that he does not say it? The foolish said, Amen. Too so as not to get noticed. And as time went on, the foolish started to get used to the thing, until that was no more anything to them. You see? Although the wise should not do that, we must nevertheless acknowledge that, a higher understanding sets God in the place of the angel at times. It is therefore at times that the angel is God himself. The congregation says, Amen. For example, in Exodus 23 when God said to Israel, Behold, I send an angel before thee, to keep thee in the way, and to bring thee to the place that I have prepared. Be careful in his presence, and hearken unto his voice, do not provoke him. For he will not forgive your transgressions, for my name is in him. But if thou shalt diligently hearken unto his voice, and do all that I shall say, then I will be an enemy to thine enemies, and an adversary to thine adversaries. Now, is it possible that the angel was Moses? Or was he the pillar of fire that never spoke to them directly? And when it is said in the vision of April 24, 1993, we have not heard the words the lamp pronounced. But we entirely believe it. How could they believe the words of the Lamb that they never saw or heard? It is obvious that prophet messengers are gods. But we should not worship their person. Because they are dust. You see? But the homage to an angel was never done, as it is the case today, for a man who has only a six-year ministry. Angel means messenger. And while those things were happening, you were present and you saw how you behaved. You are the sole witnesses of your hearts. If you felt indignant about it, you do know. If you had behaved like John, you do know. But as soon as the angel says, See thou do it not, that stops at once without leaving any trace as if it has never been done. And if before the voice of the angel, the foolish virgins, and those of the mixed multitude did it with the wise virgins by emotion, the wise will stop but they will keep on. Have an eye on them and you will see that it is the case. It is the power of God that led the wise virgins to do that. And it is impossible for them to continue while God said, See thou do it not. You see? The spirit of prophecy is subject to the prophet. And if you are doing it, see thou do it not now. Because, as soon as the angel spoke, any visible trace of homage to the angel disappears. What you did not do before the angel said, See thou do it not. Do not do it because imitation is a demon. As soon as a sister or a brother, whether he is a preacher or a song leader goes farther than the voice of the angel, it is the devil. It is as if he kept dancing while the music and the songs stopped. The congregation says, Amen. Do look at pagans, if on December 26th or 27th somebody keeps on wishing, Merry Christmas and putting Christmas twinkles in his house. It is normal that he should arouse some suspicions. The congregation says, Amen. Now I would like to say something very important. For some times now, I felt some pain at seeing all those who are awaiting the baptism in other countries. Talk with them and you will see, that they all want to conform to the message with the baptism, and the public confession like us. It is not good that there be a group which follows the message in some way, and a group in another way, while both entirely believe it. When I remember that some whole assemblies that believe as we do are not baptized, I feel sad. That can even prevent you from sleeping. Brethren, we cannot have vigils, rejoice and have the Holy Communion before hearing that there are some baptisms, Holy Communion and public confession in other countries. Acts 237-38 is the right of all those who are afar. As many as the Lord our God shall call to this message. And our prayer is that the Lord our God gives them this right. Let's stand up now for the prayer. The Message of Prophet Kaku Philippe
is in more than 100 sermons, in audio and written versions, and more than 20 video interviews. You can get them for free on the website www.philipkaku.org or in version for Android on Google Play.